Hello y'all, in this video I'm going to show you all of the potential leaders for Canada in the video game Hearts of Iron 4. I will tell you their ideology, how to get them, and a little bit of their real life history. And don't worry, you'll be meeting this man again. Let's start with Tim Buck, who is communist, and the fastest possible way to get him in power is by going through the patriation branch of the focus tree and by doing the communist path there, which starts with burn the royal portraits. Buck in real life was the general secretary of the Communist Party of Canada from 1929 to 1962. Next is Mackenzie King or William Leon Mackenzie King. He represents the ideology, democracy, and he is in charge of Canada at the start of the game in 1936. In real life, he was the Prime Minister of Canada several times, leader of the Liberal Party from 1919 to 1948, and he led the country through World War II. Last is the Skinwalk potential fascist leader Adrian Arkun. To get him as the leader of Canada in a quick manner, go through the patriation branch of the focus tree and do the fascist path there, which starts with swastika clubs. Arkun historically led a number of fascist political movements from 1929 to his death in 1967. Apparently in his political career, he proclaimed himself to be the Canadian Fuhrer. That's all of the Canadian leaders in Hoi 4. Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.